I'm Dan Farber, editor at CNET, and I am joined by Tom Stocky, the product manager for Graph Search at Facebook, and Lars Rasmussen, who runs the engineering group at the team. Welcome. Yeah, Thank thanks you. for having us. So, Graph Search launched yesterday, and uh, right. it's an early beta version of the product. It's yep. going to be in beta for months. What are the next steps to really make it robust and roll it out to more people? Well, so look, the first thing we need to do is get a lot of feedback from you guys who now can use it. And the people we're rolling out, we're rolling it out pretty slowly. We have only a few thousand people in there now. As the feedback comes in, we'll be spending a lot of time responding to that and just making it better and better. But there are a few major pieces that we know are missing. You can search for people, for photos, for places, for interests. But we can't yet search over post of the stories, the status updates people have made. We don't have a mobile version yet, and it's only available in English. And so those are the three main things that we're going to be working on going forward. Now, when, when Mark Zuckerberg was talking about the product, he was saying it would take years and years uh, to make this product whole. What does it look like at the end of those years? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a really hard thing to predict. I mean, it's it's... We have some idea of where we want to go, and, and like Lars mentioned, there's a few things we know we want to work on. But to be honest, like the thing that's going to be most interesting to us is to see how people use it, to that's see what right. they complain about that's it, right. to see what it, they want it to do that but, it but can't do. But you must do. have a roadmap that says, you know, beyond uh, doing posts and beyond doing languages, and, and also as well as the open graph, so that you can bring all the data from those applications into play. Um, it seems to me that that one of the the, the features that's missing is. Yes, I can ask my friends about what restaurants they like in New York City, but can they tell me more about that restaurant such as show me the menu or can I make a reservation through Facebook services? Yeah, I think, I mean, that's definitely part of it. I think at a high level where we want this to end up is everything you can see on Facebook, we want you to be able to search for that, so to make everything searchable. And like you were saying, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that isn't there about restaurants and places and other pages. And maybe now those, those guys have a reason to fill that stuff out. Lars, on the technical side, what are the big challenges you're facing? They say that there's 240 billion photos, a trillion That's connections, right. a billion users. How do you take all that massive data and turn it into something that a natural language query can deliver a straight answer on? <laughs> That's a very good question. So there's, there's two main pieces to the technology. There is a piece that understands the, the natural language that people type in. We actually we think of what people type in as the title of the content they're looking for. It's as if you were building your own page on Facebook. You type in the title, we try to understand the title and we fill in the content. And that's one challenging piece is as we cover more content areas, we have to grow this piece to understand more kinds of these titles here. And so that's, that's one thing. The other thing is that then once we've understood what the title is and we have to then answer the question and we have to do it fast and we have to do it in a way that respects all of the privacy settings and all of that data. And that's that's a, just a, a, a big systems engineering challenge because of the sheer volume of data. You mentioned a bunch of numbers. We have a billion active users, about a million come uh, new ones every day, 240 billion photos, about 300 million new every day, more than a trillion connections. The, I mean, the numbers are just huge. And also, we want it to be so that if you go and upload a photo or you go tag someone in a photo, you should be able to search for that right away. And so we get, I think it's more than 5 billion new pieces of content, whether it's a like or a photo or a comment or a post every day, and we want all of those to be indexed live. Let me ask you one final question. Mm -hmm. uh, people are always saying, well, this is a, you know, going to be going up against Google. Um, what's your take on that? Well, look, the way we think about it is that we're focused on here's the data that people have shared with each other on Facebook. Can we make that more useful by making it searchable? And I think you'll find, and this is actually what I think makes the product the most interesting, that most of the content you'll find through graph search is not public content. It's content that people have shared on Facebook with a limited audience that you happen to be in. And so as a result, I think if you compare any web search engine to Facebook's graph search, there's very little overlap in the data that we're actually searching for. They're really very different products. OK, so thanks very much, both of you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. For CNET, I'm Dan Farber. Thanks for watching.